Calcutta is an amazing mentalism effect created by veteran magician Ray Starr. One of the things I love about it is that it handles so well the ease of presentation, the fact that the magician or the mentalist can concentrate completely on his presentation. The entire effect takes place in the spectator's own hands. For example, the spectator freely selects and points to either the blue or the red pack. If he selects the blue pack, then he or she retains it entirely throughout the entire effect in their pocket. Um, they can hold it like so, they can do whatever they want. So, A, this is held by the spectator in their own pocket. Next, the spectator themselves completely handles the other pack. So in other words, they cut and complete the cut as many times as they want. And that really just adds to the mystery. They can fan through the pack, or the magician or mentalist can fan through the pack, uh, initially showing the pack is completely different, every card is different and, and well mixed, they'll cut and complete the cut until they are satisfied that they no longer have to cut and that the deck is completely well mixed. Again, they can spread out the cards and they see that the deck is well mixed. Next, they look at the face card, which is the indicator card. In this case, it's a six and they count six cards. One, two, three, four, five. At the sixth card, after completely cutting the cards as many times as they want, looking at the face card, which is the indicator card, and dealing down the sixth card, it is the three of spades, naturally and very fairly arrived at. Next, they remove the blue backpack, which they held in their pocket the entire time, they remove the pack, they spread out the cards to reveal one and only one face down card. The one face down card indeed matches the three of spades that they arrived at so fairly. Or when they remove the blue back pack from the pocket that they held it in, they can spread out the cards and there can be one odd card with a different colored back, it being that same matching card. It's up to you. I know you'll find Raystar's Calcutta the most simple and effective mind reading slash mentalism effect in the world of magic. So you want to force the blue pack thusly. Ask them to point to either the blue or the red. They'll point to the blue. Your job is done. If they point to the red, you'll go, okay, we're going to use this blue pack. We're going to place it in your pocket. We're going to put it out of harm's way for now. So either way you win, whether they hold it between their hands or shove it in their pockets, you have now forced the blue pack. The secret to Raystar's Calcutta is simplicity in itself. Now, you can either follow my own instructions included here, or Raystar's original instructions included here as well, in addition to the PDF uh, of tips, etc. So you should be receiving three PDFs of instructions and a short uh, or what I'd like to call a cheat list as well, which has the order of the gimmicked deck. So if you do select my version, which has the two of hearts as the force card, you'll need to buy seven or eight packs of playing cards and remove the two of hearts. Make sure that the red back cards to match this red deck, in this case it's bicycles, and plant the two of hearts um, where indicated in the instructions. Um, you can also buy um, what's referred to in the magic world as a forcing deck. And in, the, in essence, it's 52 cards, all the same card, in which case as well, it may not be the two of hearts. So substitute whatever the force card is that you bought. Uh, make sure it, again, it's a red back deck and uh, just substitute whatever that force card is for the two of hearts. It's easier just 
to go to Costco and buy uh, 12 or 13 packs for, for a very reasonable price and to remove the two of hearts from each pack and place them where indicated. Also the order of the cards is really um, important as well. Um, I'm sure that if you follow the cheat sheet, you can't go wrong. You'll have yourself an incredible force deck, um, which of uh, which you can do a revelation of the two of hearts. You can have a jumbo card face down and have the person cut and, and um, uh, deal down to the two of hearts, which is revealed momentarily by the jumbo card. You can have the, um, the force card revealed with a magic slate, which is a prop in the world of magic. Uh, even though slates are a little bit outdated now, um, you could show that the slate is blank and then afterwards it has written on it magically the two of hearts. Um, you can rub ashes on your arm previously having written two of hearts with a, a bar of soap on your forearm. There's so many ways to do what's called a revelation. That's the revealing of a supposedly a spontaneously selected card. Um, a sand frame, if you can still find one of those around, is a fantastic way to do the effect as well. The TV card frame suddenly, bam, the two of hearts is encased between two pieces of plastic any and every way you'll have yourself a multitude of many many different effects not just calcutta because of ray star's ingenious forcing deck method so i highly recommend that so that's the handling of the red pack you just want to make sure that it's set up with the duplicates in there you want to make sure when you pull it out you casually spread it no one will notice the duplicate cards you yourself can cut and complete the cut numerous times you can then hand it to the spectator as long as they cut and complete the cut numerous times it will maintain a certain order that is necessary and when they feel satisfied that they've cut enough times you have them turn it over and in this case this is a queen in the world of magic a jack represents 11 queen represents 12 and the king is 13 but let's say that they've cut to a seven so they've cut and cut and cut numerous times. They turn it over, there's a seven. It's really easy to reset the deck if you have them, rather than dealing out the cards on the table, which of course they can, have them cut or rather deal each card to the bottom so you don't have to reset every time. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, and then the seventh card will no doubt be your force card, whatever it is, the two of hearts. Um, and then you would show it, placing it face up on the pack, and then do the revelation of either the jumbo card or the card reversed in this other pack. What's really, really cool is once that two of hearts is revealed, the effect is over. You just place that two of hearts to the bottom. You can cut the cards if you want. The deck is reset and ready to go. Now the setup of the blue deck, which is a completely ordinary pack of cards, is all you need to do is mainly just turn over, in this case, I believe it's the two of hearts in my cheat sheet, turn over the two of hearts in the middle of the pack. And that's it. What you can do is get a red-backed two of hearts just to make it fancier, but it sure doesn't really add to the effect, but Raystar suggests that you do that. You've reversed one card after they've cut and arrived at the two of hearts in the red back deck. And then you can show that it matches the other card and it has a red back as well. Not necessary, not necessary for the success of the effect, but it kind of adds to it, but it doesn't. Your choice. You can have a red back two of hearts reversed in this pack as well. So that's it. I hope you enjoy Calcutta. I know you'll have many, many years of enjoyment from this effect. And again, cynicism can work its way into the world of magic and you can say, well, why not have just a regular um, an ungimmicked red deck and the invisible pack in blue, so one normal one, one blue, person cuts and shuffles and whatever card they freely select or arrive at is automatically reversed in the invisible deck. Um, as long as they don't know you're using a gimmick deck called the invisible deck. 
You can have the exact same effect as Calcutta that way, maybe even cleaner and less worry, but the uses of that gimmick Calcutta deck by Ray Star lends itself to a multitude of other effects. So in essence, you haven't bought just one effect by purchasing Ray Star's Calcutta, you've bought at least 20 or more different magical effects that you can accomplish with that deck. I'm Magic Mike Likey. Thank you so much for the purchase of Calcutta.